Here we are, Dan. Jason Slater, originally in the band Third Eye Blind, which demo came through Arista Records when I was <laughs> the VP <laughs> of a and I had no idea. And Michael Barrickman was the a and guy who was pitching yeah, five I, on I, it. I remember that. Yes. Old, okay. Now that you bring it up. <laughs> now that I bring it up. So, Jason. I've, I've, I've been playing like brain cell Russian roulette for a long time. <laughs> um. <laughs> we're, we're talking about immortal guitars. Your first guitar, was it your favorite guitar? What was the guitar that got you My, my favorite connected? guitar was, it was like a 70s Telecaster. And it just felt right. I, I, I don't know why, it sounded like shit, uh, but you know, it, but it, it felt good. It felt right. Like it, it felt good. Yeah, and I and I just like kind of hunkered into Telecasters forever, and and they were the least metal guitar on earth. So like when I was playing in metal bands and I showed up with a Telecaster, everybody laughed at me. But I could make it sound decent. Yeah. You know. How did you get that guitar? Uh, it was a trade for I traded it for a Memphis Les Paul copy. So like one of the shittiest guitars on earth, and there was a kid down the street that had had the telly and was willing to trade me because he wanted a Les Paul, and this was as close as he was going to get. <laughs> okay, so it was a fair trade. You were happy with it. I like to think it was. I wrote a ton of songs on that thing. And what happened to it? Uh, during one of the divorces, I had to give it up. <laughs> during one of the divorces. <laughs> An age-old tale of yeah. rock stars and their and their and their trappings. Yes. <laughs> so if there was a if there was a guitar player that's passed away, whose guitar you could play and hold, whose would it be? Yeah. Gary Moore. Gary like, without Moore. A doubt. Without a doubt. I love that. Yeah. I just photographed Gary Moore's guitars for this next book I'm doing called Mortal and Immortal that dude Guitars. Is, is one of the best guitar players on earth. So what you song know? would come to mind that he played that probably, immortalizes? Probably his just because because of, of of the how catchy it is, shapes of things. Like he really destroyed that song. That dude killed it. Beautiful. And and, and one of the best solos of all times. I mean, get Gary Moore and, and Jeff Beck. Yeah. Those are the two dudes. Well, Jeff Beck is mortal. He's yeah, still he's, living. He's still very much alive. He's still alive. playing like he's yeah. 25 years old. Yeah, he's old. still very much alive and still very much kicking ass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, hopefully he comes to California and plays a show when I can see him. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would be fantastic. So, the immortal guitar, if you could go, yeah, like pull out of the ground Gary Moore, that would be the axe. You feel connected to that guitar and the songs that came off of that guitar. Yeah, but I think it mostly was about his hands. His hands. You know, I, I think the majority, you can hand that guitar to everybody and nobody's gonna sound as good as that. It's true, and, it's and all it's in always the player. That way. You can hand Eddie Van Halen's guitar to somebody. It's not gonna sound the same, even remotely. Uh, you know, it's that thing. It, so it, when you write music on your own guitars, do you feel like you're immortalizing this, your own sound through the wire and wood? I'm not that big, you know. Like I, I my, my ego isn't isn't big enough to even think about stuff like that. It's like hopefully somebody connects, and if, and if two people do, cool. It was worth the time. Yeah, that's a great answer. You know, I I, I, I just really can't get to that ego spot, I guess. <laughs> Right on. I love the humility. Thank you, Jason. Thank, Thank you, guys. So nice it's to nice meet hanging you. out. Yeah.